biosynthesis of lignans and lignans so we get this three alcohols para fumaryl alcohol coniferyl alcohol and sinapyl alcohol these three alcohols can further polymerize or dimerize the dimerization of these three alcohols uh, either amongst themselves or along with the two that is a fumaryl alcohol and a coniferyl alcohol can combine together or two molecules of coniferyl alcohol can combine together or coniferyl and sinapyl can combine together so in that way if uh, there is a polymerization of these or uh, a dimerization polymerization of the degree 2 that is if there is a dimerization then we call this compounds as lignin if it is polymerized to n number of uh, this monomeric units monomeric units like fumaryl uh, alcohol coniferyl alcohol and sinapyl alcohol are the monomer units for lignin and uh, if uh, these are n number of uh, monomer units are being uh, taken together then that will give rise to lignins if it is just dimerizing then it will give rise to lignins so this cinnamic acid and its derivatives are being utilized for biosynthesis of lignins and lignins this lignins and lignins will be giving rise to uh, the mesh or the support for generation of cell walls so this will be very much important uh, for them <clears throat> biosynthesis of lignins and lignins this will be uh, synthesized from as we have seen it earlier either from para fumaryl alcohol or uh, coniferyl alcohol or sinapyl alcohol let us say it is coming from uh, an example we are taking it from uh, from a coniferyl alcohol coniferyl alcohol uh, we will take just an example of dimerization of coniferyl alcohol as one of the examples for uh, biosynthesis of lignins uh, and similar uh, uh, polymerization will give rise to lignins so uh, we will take an example of uh, coniferyl alcohol uh, from how coniferyl uh, alcohol can be converted to uh, lignins so uh, first uh, the structure of coniferyl alcohol is this will be ch2oh we have a oh over here and we have a on this is our coniferyl alcohol this coniferyl alcohol can undergo uh, removal of hydrogen atom or removal of a proton and addition of uh, sorry removal of an electron removal of a proton and a removal of an electron either uh, we can take it as a removal of hydrogen atom or just an electron can be removed in presence of nad plus so that it will take up the nad h as it will become a nad h it will take this electron with it and uh, h plus ion so that it will become a nad h there uh, two electrons it will be taking up so this uh, after abstraction of a proton it will generate uh, we have 10 more minutes in this re lecture Uh, our next lecture will be just after this same link we will continue it so this uh, this proton can be uh, extracted this particular proton can be extracted to form a free radical mechanism uh, for coniferyl alcohol fumaryl alcohol fumaryl alcohol or sinapyl alcohol remains same just uh, the ingredients here we will have a extra ome or we do not have ome so uh, that is what the difference is baki sara similar type ka rehta hai ye jo yahan pe hame uh, uh, that is uh, we have got this as a uh, free radical this free radical can be 
stabilized via resonance structures. Let this be uh, this structure be A. So uh, we will have. Free radical over here, double bonded O, we'll have this CH2 OH. Let this be B. Further, this we will get as the resonance stabilizations, uh, we can have it. Double bonded O. Now here we have an OME. CH2OH, and here we have a free radical. This free radical then can be further uh, stabilized. Let this be C. Bonded O, OME. Here we have a double bond, CH2, OH, and a free radical over here. Let this be D. So we have four uh, different uh, st uh, resonance stabilization structures. We can have n number of uh, such uh, structures. Uh, that this double bond can also be involved in it, so it will become a different structure. So let this be the four. Uh, resonance structures uh, that comes up, we can uh, then these four uh, resonance structures or the radical uh, that we have generated, these radicals can combine with each other uh, to form a dimer. Uh, that is what the idea is from uh, dimerization of coniferyl alcohol to lignins. So it will be uh, any of the two uh, structures can be uh, coming together to form a uh, dimer. Uh, let uh, let us imagine to have a B plus D. This structure and this structure, if they are combining together, then what happens? Uh, let us say uh, with that, let this be our B. And B, we will have a radical over here, here as an OME. Just we are drawing a mirror image of it. It is like this. We are drawing it like this. Uh, so, this will be CH2OH and we have a double bonded O over here. And uh, we can place the another uh, that is uh, D form as OH, this CH2. Uh, this will be our free radical. This is our uh, D, this is B, and this is D. What will happen is these two free radicals will be combining together. To form a dimer. This will be OME. CH2OH. And we will have another ring over here. Double bonded O. OME. This double bond and this double bond. Here we will have a OH. So this uh, we will get. Here we have a H. Now here, uh, this is a keto form, uh, so uh, we can convert it into enol form so that aromatization will happen over here. Uh, so it can be a keto enol tautomerism.
Which here we have an OH. This has a OME double bond OH. So this uh, pair of electrons on this hydroxyl group can further take part in uh, cyclization reaction over here. As there are two electrons are passing, so it will be a uh, normal arrow. So that this comes over here, this bond will be coming over here, and this will be going out. So a relay of reaction, uh, uh, that is a relay of electrons will be moving from this hydroxyl group to uh, this oxygen, and the loss of this proton can be a gain of here uh, one proton. So uh, we will get aromatization of the secondary. This will be OH. Here we have an OME also. Uh, the same OME that we have it over here. So this will be OME. Further we will have oxygen over here. So this oxygen will be forming a bond over here, so it will be one, two, three, four, and five membered ring. This will be OH. Here we will have an OME, and this side we will have a OH. So this compound uh, we will get. This compound we call it as dihydro or dehydro diconiferyl alcohol. Dehydro diconiferyl alcohol. That is lignin. The lignin that we uh, were intending to uh, synthesize. 